Now, your eyewitness weather forecast. All right, good evening, everybody. So another nice day uh, today, and I think we have another nice one tomorrow. Last day of summer already tomorrow. Uh, and then as we go into the weekend, we have to deal with this coastal situation, which we'll talk about uh, here in a minute. All right, so temperature right at 50, even Stephen, uh, 50 right now. Calm wind. Uh, and as we go through the overnight, it's going to get cool, but not quite as chilly as what it was early this morning, I think. Uh, we'll probably level off like low and mid 40s as opposed to the upper 30s, which is where we were uh, early this morning. Uh, officially a low of 44. And then through the day tomorrow, I, I think uh, another warm summery day here uh, in late September uh, with a good deal of sunshine. The high temperature right around 74. Numbers now falling to near 50 in the city. 49 right now in Marcy, down to Paris in the upper 40s, and uh, down here in Otsego County. Some of these normally colder locations uh, may have a little bit of very light frost in the morning. 46 in Edmiston, 48 in Milford, and up north numbers are in the low and mid 40s. Blue Mountain Lake, upper 40s at Old Forge. Here's a look at uh, satellite and Doppler radar, and well, you can see the timestamp there, and not much going on. Uh, clear sky here across the region, high pressure remains in charge. Uh, that is going to be our weather maker for the day tomorrow. It's simply superb summer swan song as we get ready to say sayonara. A uh, good deal of sunshine expected, nice mild day. Then we have to turn our attention to the weekend. And there's going to be this area of low pressure that's already forming. It's going to be near the Delmarva coast, uh, kind of hugging the coast as we get into the weekend. This actually has the chance to become a subtropical storm. And it would get the name Ophelia. So there it is right there. Uh, and all we mean by subtropical storm is it has like tropical characteristics, lots of humidity. Uh, so we'll watch uh, this storm get better organized and then watch as we go. It kind of goes up the east coast and just kind of scrapes parts of the area here, especially south and east of town, getting into late Saturday and Sunday, probably the best bet for some wet weather. Uh, so we'll keep you posted and any subtle track shifts will uh, keep you up to date. There's your Friday. Beautiful, sunshiny sky. Upper 60s to the low, mid 70s. 70 even, Cooperstown, Milford. Oneonta, 74. Upper 60s, Edmiston and Morris. Across the Adirondacks here. I think numbers make it into the mid and upper 60s. Corroga Lake up to Lake Pleasant. 70 should do it in Norway. Seven day forecast, 74 tomorrow. Clouds increase Saturday. If you're south and east of town, late in the afternoon and evening, like Madison and Otsego County, a few showers. Some light rain, again, south and east on Sunday, maybe a leftover shower Monday, and then next week, last week of September, first full week of fall, looks great. And apropos, too, with temperatures uh, in the upper 60s, which is where we should be. A lot of change this week. No mm -hmm. more summer, heading out of September. The last 7 o'clock sunset. Oh, that's the worst part, was I think. tonight. You have to wait until next yep. March. Getting dark. Bummer. Darkness on the edge of town. Happens every year, though. We'll get through it. Sure does. All right, Craig, thank mm -hmm. you. Next after this break, cries for federal help for asylum seekers continue even after some help is granted. Why state leaders feel that's not enough. We'll be right back.